Hey guys, it's me, Henry, back with another video. I'm gonna try to make this video pretty short, short and sweet. Today, um, I was on my way to work, you know, uh, Ram Buildings, quick update for you guys. I don't wanna tell you guys this, but you know what? It keeps me stronger, keeps me more accountable for my um, doings and all that type of stuff, and you guys know that. So uh, that's why I do these videos to just kinda think about you know t three years from now i love seeing these videos three years from now because i can see my face i can see my what what sweatshirt i was wearing you know what airpods i was wearing. so anyways so anyways we're all good um at ram but i had to be let go just because the efficiency of my work um i don't know i was respectful came in early it just became too much of a uh, per se just it just came too much of a part of heights we had lifts that go went up you know 30 feet up peak of the roof and i was just fine i could hammer do all that type of stuff on the lift <laughs> but once when i got on the roof different story man i sheeted the roof i was tied off it was just fine I got off, my back started aching because they started putting me on a pickaxe because I had a pickaxe uh, roll for some boards on the on the bottom thing where they pour the cement, you know, that little bottom, uh, what do they call that, I, a skirt board or something. So we had a pickaxe that and it was like 20 degrees and it was still frozen. And so my back kind of got out went out up on the roof i got down started doing that they went out even more so i was just really um I, I forget what the word is um fatigued or whatever so uh so anyways so i had to take two days off because a workman's comp and all that stuff i was going to go to the chiropractor but i'm like hey i've only been employed here for a week and a half and i was just delivering salt before so I don't think this is like, this is just a reoccurring thing. It really did happen at work. It did, but yeah, I'm good. So I don't want to talk more about it, but that happened. Um, so you can say that's strike one. Like some, some guys I talked to, it's like, oh, you got strike one on you already. It's like, dude, I don't strike out. And if I do, I'm getting back in the batter's box. I don't flip and care, dude. I have a lawn care business. It's just fine. I'm doing just fine as far as work. I got a good worth ethic. And guess what? I wake up sometimes late just because I lose motivation so quick. I know everybody in this world has it, so I'm just gonna be open to it, guys. If you guys have that, don't be ashamed. Just, you know, find things that you love, things that you wanna do it for. Do it for your family, do it for your future family, do it for your, you know. Um, so that's kind of, how I get my motivation just because, Hey, you know, I didn't want to do the ram building thing. I didn't want to work there. But the thing is you guys all know that you got to get ahead in life. You could, it's very easy to just get by. So getting ahead is the hardest thing anybody can do at this time, especially 2023, you know, gas is still three thirty nine here. So it's eh, whatever, but just just stay just stay humble guys um but basically that that job didn't work out just because you know something took me like two hours three hours you know pretty much when we got there at we punch in at six we get to the job site around seven uh we leave get out of the truck at like seven ten. get the tool belt on start doing a big job you know i do a little project on my own and i'm done by 12. Well, talking to my boss and he goes, oh, you finally got that done? Okay, all right, well. And I'm just like, well, how long do you think it would took? It? How long would it took you? And he goes, about an hour. I'm just like, what the? Okay, well, you should have told me, showed me the best efficient way because we gotta be efficient here, you know? That's how we get our bonus, you know? And here I'm taking time off there because how, how the bonuses work if, let's just say, the job is supposed to take an out a hundred hours and a cumulative of all the guys. So if my eight hour shift could have took 
somebody else two hours now we just like lost six hours so in the estimating and and stuff so i just felt like you know what this isn't i'm not good for the company i mean i am because i show up okay like every i you know some guys they'll show up on monday morning all feeling like oh i only got three hours of sleep last night i'm a little hung over and it's just like You don't have to drink on Sunday night, like, golly, and they're all just talking about how they get drunk on Friday, and they were all, you know, it's just like, it was just a weird, a different group of people, and I'm not, you kind of, I'm not really used to that, but obviously I was in public school, so I'm kind of, obviously, in, in, I was in, people were encouraging me to do that, and I'm used to it, but I'm not going to drink, <laughs> I told you guys in my 2023 uh, top five goals or whatever that I'm not going to drink. I'm going to go get my conceal and carry. So, and you can't drink and drive and get a felony and have your conceal and carry. It just doesn't work. So, I just don't want to get in trouble like that. Plain and simple. But, anyways, that's just kind of how it was. And so, so I felt like I was a good, respectful employee, but. It just didn't work out. I got on roughs a few times, but there was one time that we weren't getting tied off and I was getting up on the roof. I'm just like, my boots are slippery. I don't want to freaking fall. Because if I fall, now there goes my whole summer. It's not worth that. So I stayed in the lift. I kind of organized some stuff, got some screws picked up while they were doing the ridge cap and it took them like 30 minutes for with three guys. Like how long would it took if I was up there? What? You know. 27 minutes like just come on like <sighs> it's just piss it just kind of pissed me off that day because it was like oh i gotta go up on the roof for 30 minutes out of the day and now they're gonna put something on me they're gonna knock something on me because we're not getting tied off like you guys told me in the interview that we're getting tied off we're only staying in the baskets and all that stuff in here my first day i have to like lean out of the basket you know 16 feet up in the air and just like okay like this is kind of ridiculous, but, you know, they're like, oh, well, have ha have a fun career. I'm just like, thanks. You know, I got to get used to this. So, I, you know, here I thought it was going to be, you know, until Memorial Day that I can, you know, get used to it. But I don't know. They kind of knew I had a lawn care business and they're just like, well, if he's not going to be, you know, willing to work throughout the whole summer, then maybe, maybe it's just not the great right fit. I'm just like... Yeah, you know, maybe it's not, but I wanted to work there. I I always wanted to work there when I was a kid. Um, like I'm talking ninth, like ninth grade, they come into our school and they would talk to us and they show all the projects. I'm just like, man, that's so cool. Because here, I'm a lawn care guy. Every lawn care guy pretty much has a pole barn, you know, shop type thing. And I just love looking at those shops. I, I watch our buildings and stuff and see all the tips and tricks and I was using some of the, the tips and stuff like the you know the you know the trade tricks you know and I'm doing them and the guys goes no don't do that we've been doing these buildings for 25 years don't do that I'm just like oh and why do you need guys that have experience if you guys are just going to change everything here you know how I mark the I take the tape you know and I mark like I do like a I do like a one and like a like, so I just go on the point, like if it's like, you know, 71 and, and three eighths, I call it 71 and three eighths, 71 and three eighths. And then the middle of the point there is a mark and you take the square and you mark it. They're like, no, just do a little, you know, like that. And it's like, all right, well, I thought that was more for amateurs, but okay, whatever. You know, so I had to change some things. And so I just felt like, you know, what's the point about getting experience if they're just going to change everything that i've had experience for a few years you know so i was like marking things they're like don't do that that's confusing i'm just like well you put a square line on it it's like that's the cut like go for it like you know and we're doing the purlins and stuff and they he sent me a you know like a couple numbers on the on the tape on my first day and he just marked you know i'm just like what what is that is that you know, 10 and three, three eighths, or is that 10, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a quarter, or is that 10 and a half, you know, is it, I just was like, what the, 
I don't know. Like, so I just, I was like, okay, that's uh, 10 and 3 eighths, and then inch and a half, and then there, there's a purlin mark. Boom, you drill. I drilled like 50 something, and he looks at him and he goes, those are all wrong. I'm like, what? Like, and so I was like off like a quarter inch on every single one, and obviously that matters because you don't want the trusses to be all wavy. So I'm just like, oh, frick, okay. There goes my first day that you got something out of me now, so. This is going to be a fun job. <laughs> so that was just kind of my experience on my first day. Obviously, you know, it was not a bad job. The pay is okay. You know, somebody shouldn't not work there because, oh, I don't pay, get paid enough. Like, golly, you're getting paid. It's 20 starting. That's not a lot for, you know, risking your life on the roof. But you're getting uh, bonus checks. You're getting uh, 401k. You know, or actually, it's a Roth RA, but... Um, you're getting health insurance. I wasn't taking health insurance. I'm still in my dad's, but not going to say everything about my life, but you know, we just have these things in our life. It's just like, it's so, I get so upset about, it. and then, and then it just comes in here. All right. Sounds good. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I, you know, I kind of took that job thinking maybe I'll, you know, go away from lawn care this year and just do a little bit, just do the recurring, the cut do the do the reincurring customers and maybe not do the bi-weeklies anymore or just raise the prices up you know fifteen dollars and then i'm making money on the lawns and like i bid it a lawn for like 160 didn't get it because it was too high but i'm just like well if i bid it for 95 or if i wasn't working for ram i probably would have bid it for a 95 and i would have gotten it and i probably would have made so much money on it and i just was like whatever i'll bid it 50 dollars more than i think it is and then if i get it then i'm making money so that's kind of how my philosophy was because i was like i got full i got a full weeks of work so i don't need to you know get a lot more but I should have got, I should have just bit it how I would have bit it, but you know, that's just kind of how it is. But all right, guys, well, you guys have a fun time serving the Lord, um, going to your job, continue being that light in people's life. Um, just uh, encourage you for that and just uh, stay humble, uh, pick up your trash in your house. You know, you don't need clutter in your house, you, you don't need that. So, you want to invite people over? Well, get rid of the clutter in your life and in your house. Um, and so do that with God. Appreciate you guys. Uh, see you around. All right.